But like I said previously in the video, we do not have a lifetime supply of this stuff. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel. And in this video today, I seriously just can't be bothered setting up the lights and setting up the tripod. So this video is going to be right in your face. But anyways, have you guys ever noticed in the comment section of Rejuvenator's videos or even my videos or pretty much anyone else who's endorsed by Rejuvenator that they always talk about how much solution we use? And I fully understand where you guys are coming from when you leave those kind of comments because in those videos, when it's time to add the solution to the water, it kind of looks like this. All right, so you just want to add a little bit of water, and then after that, you just want to take your solution and add a little bit of that as well. So what I'm going to be doing in this video today is taking these triple white Adidas Flux that have definitely seen better days and we are going to find out just how much rejuvenator that you need to use in order to get your shoes cleaned efficiently. But before we get into that, I just want to ask you guys real quick, you guys like my hat? You guys like my jersey? If you do, be sure to check out my unboxing video that I did on this. I'll leave a card on the screen right now. In case you missed it, go check it out. So let's go. Now when we watch our favorite YouTubers cleaning up their shoes on their channel, especially when they're using Rejuvenator, usually when it comes time to actually grab the solution, it looks something like this. They take their bowl, they fill it up with a little bit of water, turn the water off, and then after that they take their solution and normally they spray it in like this. Now in my opinion, I actually think that that is overcompensating for how much solution that you actually need. I think Rejuvenator is an efficient enough cleaner that you definitely don't need to be using this much. So what we're gonna do now is grab those triple white flux and we are gonna find out just how much Rejuvenator that you actually need to use in order to get your shoes nice and lathered up. But before we get going, I'm just gonna let you guys know, don't panic, don't worry, I'm not wasting any Rejuvenator right now. I'm not gonna pour it down the drain. I'm actually gonna use this Rejuvenator that I just poured in here for another project. So I'm gonna go grab Grab another bowl and we're gonna get to work. All right, so I got my new bowl and what I'm gonna do now is just fill it up with a little bit of water, get it in there nice and good, and then what I'm going to do now is take the rejuvenator and put it in drop by drop to see just how much we actually need to be using. And what we're gonna do now is take the rejuvenator and we're just going to put a couple of drops in here to see if it will get the shoe nice and lathered up. So let's go. All right, that's not that much. Leave that in there. Let's find out. Uh, nothing. Definitely going to need more rejuvenator. There's no suds, no nothing. So we're going to add just a tiny bit more. See how much we need to actually be using. There we go. You guys see there's not a lot going in there every single time that I actually put it in. Are we lathering up yet? A little bit. Not too crazy though. I would not be happy with that personally. So what I'm going to do now is add a little bit more rejuvenator and see how much we need to be using. It's really not that much. It's literally just like three drops at a time. Uh oh, that's much better. We're starting to get lathered up now. Still not good enough though. All right, something tells me that this is going to be the last time that I have to add this stuff. Oh, there we go. That's much, much better. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and say that you don't need to use a lot of rejuvenator in order to get this shoe nice and lathered up. What I did to put the actual rejuvenator into the bowl is I did not squeeze it at all. I literally just let gravity do the work, just tip it over and little drops come out. I did that about 
three times. So if I had to take an estimated guess as to how much water is in here as opposed to the actual solution, I would say it's about 90% water and 10% rejuvenator. So in other words, if rejuvenator is something that you cannot afford to be dishing money out on every single month, you can absolutely preserve this stuff. I know that when you watch these videos, you see people like me just spraying it in here like we have a lifetime supply of rejuvenator, but the fact of the matter is is that we don't. Also take into consideration that about 80% of the restorations that I do never make it onto my channel, so when you see me taking a rejuvenator and just spraying it in here like I have a lifetime supply, just understand that it's probably just for the video. Now don't get me wrong, it absolutely works better than more solution that you actually put into the water, but if you want to make your rejuvenator last as long as possible, use less solution and just scrub your shoe for longer. And with all that being said, I'm gonna go back to cleaning these shoes, but before I do that, just remember I got a discount code with this company right here, Rejuvenator. It is my trusted sneaker cleaner, and if you wanna save 20% off of your entire order over at rejuvenator.com, be sure to enter my discount code at checkout. Like I said, it will save you 20% off of your entire order, and the discount code is XChaseMachini. So with that being said, let's go straight back into cleaning these shoes. pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I really hope that this can help out at least some of you because I know that I have seen a lot of comments on my channel, on Rejuvenator's channel, Retro Snickers, Heat Ledger, and like I said, anyone who uses Rejuvenator, we get the comment saying like, yeah guys, we see that you can use as much Rejuvenator as you guys are using because you guys have an endless supply of it. But like I said previously in the video, we do not have a lifetime supply of this stuff. But like I said previously in the video, we do not have a lifetime supply of this stuff no matter what you guys think. And the way that you saw me do it in the video today is probably the way that the majority of us use Rejuvenator when we are off camera. So with all that being said, just remember you can use as much Rejuvenator as you want. You can't use as little as you want, but you can definitely use a much smaller amount than you see in our restoration videos. So go out and test it for yourself and leave it down in the comment section below how much Rejuvenator that you needed to use in order to get a nice lather on your shoes. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel and as always, have yourself a good day. Peace.